Well, hello there. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment, and you don't you know, whenever you start getting ready to turn everything on and record, the sky falls. That's what happened to me just about every time. I'll only make one correction here, and that, that is so that I can see your comments. Uh, should be coming on any time. Um, but I'm glad you're here today. We just got back from Jacksonville. And uh, most of you know my, we were, let me see if I can get this to come on so I can see what you're saying. There's just a little bit of lag here. I think I've told you before. So it's kind of confusing when you're looking uh, for something to come up. And I think it's coming, okay? I have to wait for my picture to flash, and then I've got it. So thank you all so much for being patient with my computer skills. They're coming along, though. Hey, Lekka, I'm so glad you're here. And uh, as a matter of fact, whenever you do come in, uh, please say hello and let me know that you're here. Uh, this is, of course, it's Thursday, and tomorrow is the day that I will announce another project. So today, I'm going to show you a little bit about that. Um, we did finish our, let me show you here, we finished our little guy that I'm kind of getting him ready to put a little finishing paint on him. Oh, this is going to be easier to show you this way. Uh, upside down and I fixed his hat because I'm about to paint him uh, so that he's got a little bit of a, a sheen to him uh, but I put something called triple thick on top of a lot of things that I finish if you've ever seen this uh, this is this is made by Americana, and it really is triple thick. It eliminates me having to uh, spray. Uh, this takes the place of that, and we're going to uh, use this to finish the snowman today. Um, I'm going to take off the scarf from the snowman because I don't want to get paint all over him. But um, this is what I'm doing. I'm just going to take his scarf off. Uh, I super, or I not super glued, but I uh, took my glue gun and put his hat on yesterday because I thought that would work out best, and it does. Let me put some glasses on. I don't know if that's going to help me see any better, but it'll make me feel better. In fact, I'll put me over here, and you know, we try this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, there you go. Good luck today. So, um, as, you, as you come in, just say hello. I'm going to leave the hat on uh, the snowman because uh, I don't want to unglue him and then go through that again. So I'm just going to, I haven't used this in a long time, I guess. Uh, it's just easier for me to put it in a plate, but if I'm in a rush, then a lot of times I'll just get this so you can see it. And this is a water-based paint. So the good thing about that is that you can wash your brush out uh, after you finish your, um, putting it on here. I think I'll go down here as long as, as much as I can. This is pretty fast drying. Don't know, hi and welcome back. Oh, listen, I got your note, Sandy. And I'll see you before the end of the day because uh, I know you're rushing around, and I've got an appointment tomorrow, too, for a doctor. Uh, we were thinking about staying overnight, but our little granddaughter is doing so well, and uh, she's 13 years old and was um, 
had a bacteria infection that ate almost all of her femur bone, the femur head. So anyway, yesterday we went through, she went through a complete hip replacement, if you haven't been following me, and even did it as an outpatient. She's my hero. If Kenzie, if you're looking, you're my hero. But she's done real well, and she's faced um, getting away from all the pain that she was in. I'm just going to twist this around and continue painting. And you'll see Triple Thick has like a triple gloss finish. Now, I put a while ago when we got back, I was out by a big um, flower pot in my yard, and I put this in there. And it was... It didn't work out because, I mean, it, it could, but it didn't work out because um, there were too many flowers going. I, I would have to trim the plant down just a little bit for it to do that. Uh, we have two flower pots out in front of our clubhouse here, and I might just get another one and stick it in the pot because I th they, maybe they'll put some Christmas flowers in there. I'm not sure yet, but we'll do something with it at Christmas uh, because it's uh, adorable. So you can see, I'm just gonna twist this around. I'm balancing it on a couple of corks. See, corks are good for a lot of different things. And I hope I'm not rustling around like plastic bags like I did the other day whenever uh, I didn't have my microphone on correctly. It's, it really sounded like I was sitting and standing and jumping on top of plastic bags. I need a little more paint in my plate. Um, if for some reason your video cuts off at any time, you know you can go to um, YouTube and play this back um, and start and stop it you know, when you're doing the project. So, we just make it all kinda easy for you. Hey Jane, are you through shopping? Jane went shopping with her sister today in Indiana. I know. Anyway, we're glad you're here. And I hope you told Jean hello for all of us. Jean and Jane. And their husbands' name are Jack and John, but they're not twins. Just nice little names. We have rain right now. See, this goes pretty fast. Um, let's see, I saw a place on there that didn't look I, that it had taken any paint. Uh, with this kind of project, with you, if you make any mistakes, it's not a big deal to go back and correct it because people are going to be looking at it from a distance. And like I said, this is a real... I've got another idea for a Christmas project, but I didn't have time to get to it before I came over here. Someone brought me some of the biggest, most beautiful pine cones. Uh, people are so nice to me and thinking about our classes that we have here at Florida Grand, um, that they'll see something and they'll write me and say, uh, do you need uh, some gourds? Yeah, I need some gourds. Do you need some pine cones? Yes, I need some pine cones. Uh, do you need, um, let me think of something else that someone has brought me. The answer is always yes. You don't even have to ask. Uh, yes, we'll use it. Now, this, uh, our, our upcoming class for Artitude Adjustment at Florida Grand is awesome. But it is the first time I've ever done it. So I plan to have my sample done um, the one that I'm displaying 
for people to look at before they sign up was done by an artist uh, in Alabama. And when I saw it, I thought, ooh, if I can figure out what this, what this is made of, I've got a real good Christmas project here. I'm just touching this up right now. Uh, sometimes triple thick will run because uh, you put it on so thick. So I'm trying not to do that. And I'm checking for all of the areas that might have little spots that weren't painted. This just makes it waterproof so you can put it outside and it will retain the gloss. Okay, so this is this guy where I'm gonna let him dry. Of course I'm gonna let him dry before I put his hat back on and his scarf, but he's good to go. I also wanted to tell you if there's some reason why you would um, need more directions on making the scarf and the hat, just let me know. But it is also in yesterday's instructions. So, but I've got an extra piece of felt and I'd be happy to show you. So I'm gonna put this over here and let it dry. Let me make sure I got everything covered. I see a possible place here. I said this is water-based and all I have to do is wash the paint out with water. Uh, we had a little incident with, um, when we left town the other, yesterday, and I see a place that I didn't get, but I'm not going to do it right this minute. Uh, I'm just pushing this over here and I'm going to prop it up so it can dry. Uh, like I said, it's raining right now, so that isn't the best thing for this project, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Now, I want to show you one of the things we'll be using next week. And this is like I told you I had never done it before. Well, this makes it very exciting whenever you use something that you've never used before. Uh, it'd be better for me to take this out and show you. It's called joint compound. Do you know where you see joint compound? Work? Yeah. Um, whenever you're doing uh, drywall. Well, we're not going to be doing drywall. We're going to be doing, you know, remember, what is it? We do fun art, not fine art. So we're gonna do use joint compound with some fun art. This is all purpose. And do you know what? Someone called me and said, I've got some joint compound, would you like it? Well, yeah, we can use joint compound all the time. So anyway, we're using the joint compound in our next Artitude Adjustment class and if you haven't signed up for that, that's at Florida Grand, of course, um, and I'm sorry, but I'll bring a show near you uh, sometime in the future. Uh, the, this class is on a Thursday, October 24th uh, here, and it'll be kind of like the first one of this season. Uh, let me see, is there anything else I need to tell you about that? Um, Okay, now that isn't the only thing that we're considering. The, um, where did I put it? Oh, this, this, this is, and you might tell me, say, okay, if I had my choice of painting something, would it be that thing with joint and compound, because you're going to paint it, or would it be this nice, tool bag. You know what? I really appreciated this tool bag when I was traveling the last couple of times we've gone to Jacksonville and I've taken my art projects with me uh, for my lives because um, it carries so much. I'll carry the big bottles of paint and uh, so this is your choice for next week and you can let me know. 
not October. Did I say October again? Do you know what? I've got this thing where I'm, I haven't gone back into November yet. Thanks, Sandy. Do you remember I did it the other day too? November 24th. I can't believe we're in Thanksgiving already. Uh, hey, Kathy. So anyway, that's your choice. The project with the uh, joint compound, which is my brand new thing, and I'm going to be using it for a couple of other projects as well. Or to paint, I have in mind um, what we did with this tool bag. And um, if you're a teacher and you want a really good project to show people, this is it. And people who have been in that class will tell you this tool bag has something like, I forget how many pockets, isn't it like 15 pockets? Well, it has about 15 pockets on the inside and the outside. But this area is excellent. This area right across here is an excellent area to paint. It's like painting on black canvas. Uh, I used it for transporting paints, but some people use it, they call it a utility bag. Every time I call it a tool bag, my husband corrects me and he says, it's a utility bag. So y'all enjoy a utility bag. But where you get these, if you're not familiar with them, this is a, I think this is a, this is, let's see if it says, this is a 12 inch tool bag. They come in 15 inch. Look for them to go on sale at Harbor Freight. And my goodness, I go in there and buy them by the dozens, and everybody in every class enjoys them for many years to come, I'm sure. Right, Sandy? Right. Okay. Uh, but what my idea is here is I want to paint a village uh, that goes across here. You know the ones with the pointy roofs, and it says apothecary or veterinarian or bakery or something like that because you can go all the way around it will be colorful no it isn't a purse it is a utility bag so i think this would be a good idea for uh, one of you know between this one and the joint compound so i'm going to have to have my little applause meter for you to vote on November oh this for to, for next week's project but it but the joint compound is going to be in my artitude adjustment class that I have next week anyway you'll love it either one of them I promise you and we'll get to the other one anyway so um, I'd like to say how much I appreciate you being here and I'm glad to be back but I really uh, have um, I get behind whenever you go out of town, you know how that goes, and uh, I've got some things coming up that I've got to prepare for. Um, and oh, and hello, Christmas is right around the corner, so I've got to prepare for that, and as well as two classes. And uh, so, oh, you want the tool bag? Okay, we can do the tool bag. But I'll show you what I'll do next week. Next week when we get a, almost there, I'll show you that. But um, Leka won again. She won the contest last time. But I'm always happy when someone uh, will say exactly what they'd like to see. Did I say the 24th? Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm, I'm, unor I'm not oriented uh, here yet. But the class is November, isn't that a Thursday? It's Thursday, November 21st. Uh, tw so the following week, remember we have a late Thanksgiving, right? So I've got to get to work and order uh, a honey-baked ham, and we're going to be together with family. I hope you all are planning something fun. And uh, we won't be here. We'll be at um, Little Lake Ware near the villages so i hope you'll let me know what you're doing and that you will have uh, uh, real good plans for uh, coming up for thanksgiving and christmas uh, keep in touch with me i'm going to be here tomorrow at three o'clock for a live and i hope you uh, know how much i appreciate you being here just remember 
It's a great day to have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you at 3 tomorrow. Bye-bye.